What up, you sexy motherfuckers? It's your boy, King Cobra. So, we're going to make a steak. I have the oven preheated to 350. And we're going to do a custom marinade sauce. First thing we need is a steak. So, we're going to bake the steak in the oven, man. That's what I'm thinking. And, uh... <laughs> As you can see, we, we have three very delicious steaks right here for us to consume. So, we'll grab one out of the packaging and stick the other two in the freezer for later. You guys like steak? I like steak. These are from uh, Albertsons. Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. All right, now, we'll grab, a, grab this one right here, Boop, just like that. I'll be eating these up right quick. And one steak's enough for me, to be honest. All right. Now that we got our steak, we're going to take it, we're going to poke holes into it. This is so we can cook it a little faster and so all that flavor absorbs into our steak. There we go. So by now you should know this method. The, uh, I stab you with my fork. I will stab you with my fork. Alright. Heck, I might even do two just because I feel like it. Yeah, why not? Now let's have leftovers, tubes. Yeah. Hey, look at them big old motherfuckers, dude. It's a big ass motherfucking steaks, YouTube. Get you some. I can't. Because, like I said, we can always have leftovers. So we're going to take our steaks, and like I said, just uh, now that they're perfectly de-thawed, you should be able to take your, your, your fork and just stab it full of holes. This is so, I do this so the, the flavor can really incorporate into the meat. There we go. And then we're going to take this other steak, and this is pretty much just going to be like lather it in the sauce in the bowl here and then throw it in the oven and we're gonna watch it like a hawk and then we'll take it out when it's done you know you don't want to sit here and watch me watch it so this is part one i'm not worried about any of the fat or any of that shit just gonna take the fork legit there we go i'll kind of tenderize it a little bit you guys like steaks? Guys and gals like steaks? I like steak. And if you like King Cobra's cooking videos, hit the like, ding the notification bell, subscribe for more. Alright, those are plenty poked. Okay, so now for our sauce, we'll go ahead and put that in the sink. For our sauces, we're going to be, for our sauce, we're going to be using a combination of things, YouTube. Some Tostitos, restaurant style salsa, medium. This has all the vegetables and peppers and tomato in it. That'll be great for the steak. Then we're going to add some liquid smoke. Right there. We're going to add soy sauce. We're going to add some steak marinade. And I'll show you each ingredient that we put in one more time. We're going to add some barbecue sauce. Some garlic salt. And of course, our very trusty, one and only, Country Crock Original. And that will be our sauce. Now, we're, going to, we're just going to see how it turn out, YouTube, you know? Yes.
So to make our sauce, we're basically just gonna get rid of all the, uh, just throw a little bit of butter left in, in this one. I know it's spread, but whatever. Here's the last of our spread in this one. Not sure what I could do with that last steak. I'll probably just eat it, but. And the only thing that the steak would be needing for the sauce is honestly, I'd put like a little bit of Bud Light in the sauce just to give it some fl extra flavor, but it doesn't need Bud Light to be tasty. That'd be the only way I'd like perfect upon this uh, crazy sauce that I'm making here for the marinade. All right. And there's only fat to everything in these steaks, so yeah. This is strictly for flavor. Oh, look at that. We got a fresh tub, man. All right. Not butter, you think? And yeah, one more scoop wouldn't hurt. All right. Now we're gonna add also with some Captain Ronnie's. Look at that. Bacon rub. Mmm. So we're gonna throw in our Captain Ronnie's. I wanna melt it in the microwave so it all mixes together just nicely. Get out of there, you son of a bitch. So into our bowl for our steak marinade, we're gonna add some country crock. And some uh, Captain Ronnie's. There we go. Sweetness, man. After our Captain Ronnie's, I'm going to throw in a couple dashes of liquid smoke. Oh, yeah. And after our liquid smoke, we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce. Liquid smoke and soy sauce is a good combination. All right. Beautiful. Now we got our steak marinade. Beautiful. Now we're going to add a little bit of garlic salt, right there, a little bit of garlic salt, beautiful, now for our final two ingredients we're going to add some Kraft Honey Barbecue, I'm not sure how this uh, sauce is going to taste, but we'll find out. That's the fun of a cooking video, right? Yes. Barbecue sauce on point. Oh yeah, that honey barbecue sauce from Kraft is where it's at. Not a sponsor. So good. And now for the final touches, YouTube, we're going to add some Tostitos medium heat 
restaurant style hot sauce or salsa I mean yeah so like some Tostitos restaurant style salsa it's got the vegetables in it so it's got onions and peppers in it so ah, there we go pop the lid oh yeah that smells so good so I'll throw a little bit of that in there as well Oh yeah, that's good salsa. Got a nice little heat to it. Now we got a sauce. Look at that. It looks like a congealed mess, but hold up a second. Take the spoon out. I'll press the butter down just a little bit. Uh, I want to mix it, mix all of our ingredients together real quick before I um, microwave it. Give it a nice quick little mix here. That should be enough sauce for both steaks. We'll see though. It's gonna dunk the steaks in the sauce, then slap it on the tray here. I'd like a little bit of beer to make this just perfect, but I digress. Like I said, you don't need beer to add to the sauce, but I would recommend it. Let's see how the sauce do. The flavors on it are very nice. There's just a rich complexity of flavors going on there, dude. Sweet, savory. Smoky, flavorful. You want to add a little bit more of that chunky salsa to it. Just to, there we go. A little bit more, a little bit more of that salsa. So there's our Tostitos restaurant style salsa. Just a little bit more to it. Stir it around. Well, a little bit of heat won't hurt, but we don't want too much heat now. Perfect. That is perfect. Set the spoon to the side. Ooh, that's really good. That's really good, you two. Hold up. We're gonna microwave it just to melt the butter in there so it becomes a nice little sauce there, yeah. And then we'll get to um, getting these bad boys cooked up. Beef. It's what's for dinner. That sauce is ready to go. I'm gonna pour a splash of Mountain Dew in here just for some extra sweetness. There we go, look at that. Give it one final stir. That's a good sauce, YouTube. Now, do I want to add garlic salt to these steaks? No, there's already enough seasoning with everything in there. All I gotta do is dunk it. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is where it's at, YouTube. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to take and dunk the steak in there, just like that. Give it a quick dunk. First we'll dunk it. Beautiful. Beautiful YouTube. Take our sauce. We'll just dump it all over our steaks. I want the steaks to be coated, so we're gonna dunk. Oh, I mean, we're gonna pour some of that sauce down the drain real quick, not all of it. Just enough to uh, there we go. That's enough to coat the bottom of our pan, but not enough to like just cake it, you know. All that butter, there's a big old chunk of butter right there, yeah. I'm gonna put that on top of oh, god damn it. Got all in my counter, man. Easy enough to wipe up. Now I like my steaks medium rare, so that's what I'm gonna be shooting for, but we'll see, right? We will see. Like all that salsa and butter is just on top of there. Yeah, that's gonna marinate nice like. Very nice like. Beautiful YouTube. Just freaking beautiful. I think these steaks are ready to go in the oven. Now, like I said, I have the uh, oven heated to 350 degrees. And uh, that's most nothing what's up. Stick it in the oven. Yeah, a little, now we got, like I said, just a, just a wee bit of it on the bottom there for flavor. But now it's not over flooded. Alright, so now these steaks are going in there for a wee bit. Preheated. I'm going to put them on the uh, rack in the middle. <laughs> Cobra said rack. Okay. Oh, 
hot tamales, man. All right. Careful with that. Woo! There she be. Aw, oh, yeah. Steak cooking goodness. All right. So now we're going to close it. I'll check back here with you in a bit.